viewers this is jade and i'm here to do my october flip of my journal um the layouts this month seem to be more scrapbooky than arty which is cool shake it up a little bit anyway this is going to of course be the talking version um if anybody just wants to see a flip through sans the talking i will post that on my instagram it is lilac dream and i will there'll be a you know a link somewhere here either up top here or down below that you can follow if you just want to see it without the talking so let's go ahead and get into it we left off here in september um and of course i do my bookshelf of the books i completed in september which was only hers by francis grace one of my favorite romance novels um big magic by elizabeth gilbert and papillon by Henri Scherer. And I freaking loved Poppy Young. Um, and Big Magic got good reviews. Like, people really loved this book. But, I don't know. It, it wasn't as magical to me as everybody else makes it out to be. So, whatever. Anyway. The next day was just me pretty much documenting a sunset that I happened to catch while I was out on my walk. I usually actually like to take my walks when it's getting darker and the moon comes out and I can see the moon and stars because I just love to see the moon and stars. They're just pretty to me. Um, but I ended up catching the sunset this day and I stopped to take some pictures and I thought it was really pretty and I wanted to document that. So I did. I pulled out some ephemera. And again, like I said, this is kind of scrapbook style. And I did this border. This, y'all look at the shimmer on this border. I used those glitter um, Bria Reese want things that we got from um, Hobby Lobby. You see it? See that? When they were on clearance. Oh, so pretty. And I actually got the idea for this border from a bullet journaler. Um... Rio Bujo, R-H-I-O-B-U-J-O, -O, on Instagram. Her bullet journals are so freaking amazing. Like, seriously, check her out. And I wanted to try the border, and it came out so nice. So, I'll be trying some more of those in the future. Um, The next day, well, this is October 3rd. The next day, or October 4th. I um, made an appointment with my stylist to get my hair done. I haven't gotten perms in years now. Um, and I love summer. If it could be summer every day, I would be perfectly happy and fine with that. But the humidity this year and me going out and walking and stuff now with the sweating, it just wreaks havoc on my hair and it's just ridiculous. So I was like, I'm getting my hair done today. I got to take a couple pictures because I know it is not it's not gonna last long so i did that and i actually happened to be going through um this little container i have of cut out pictures from magazines and just took all my little cut out pictures of like roses and stuff and pasted them down and this butterfly and these are like frames that i picked up at joanne a while ago so yeah i had to document my good hair day because like i said it was not going to last long. October 6th, my little sister came into town to spend the weekend. And my nephew stayed over. He stayed the weekend with us, um, you know, because she doesn't get to see him very often. So, um, that night, there was a lot of shenanigans going on. And that night, um, my nephew wanted to play Trouble. And I told them all, we all played together. I told him, I was like, I'm going to win this game. I'm winning trouble. Like I'm, I'm warning you. I'm telling you guys now. We play this game. I'm going to win. And they was like, okay, yeah, whatever. I was like, okay, you just wait. Auntie going to be Auntie gonna be all of y'all. All of you. We played four games. I won three of the four. And my nephew won the other one. So, it was fun. And I tried to tell them, but they didn't want to listen to me, so... But we had a good time. Uh, the next night, not the next night, October 13th, there was a birthday celebration for my mom's boss's daughter. Um, she It was a big one for her. She's turning 18. And she just graduated high school um, this past summer. 
Um, and she actually went to high school in Sri Lanka. And I think she really liked it there because, you know, there were people that were more like her in Sri Lanka. Um, so she's here now and not, I don't know. You know, I'm not sure what her plans are or whatever. But I just, she's a really sweet girl and she's really nice. And I just want her to go out there and discover life for herself and make mistakes and fall in love and fall out of it and just just do the things that she wants to do whatever her heart leads her to like i want her to go out and experience life and not let anyone hold her back um the next night the next oh, yeah the next night october 14th okay so i was a little upset because um i think supernatural premiered on the 11th and that's when freaking hurricane michael blew his ass through here and our power was out for like nearly a day so i couldn't watch the premiere y'all know i love my supernatural i love my dean winchester i love sam i love cast yada 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 so anyway i ended up catching up on it on the cw app on the 14th and i found it a little ironic that Hurricane Michael came through. Hurricane Michael came through and took the power out. And Dean is currently possessed by Archangel Michael. So, I mean, the irony. Anyway, so I recorded this, you know, my watching of that show it was good. Sam's trying to hold down the fort without his brother. He's haggard. Everybody's depending on him. He hasn't had any sleep. He's not eating. He's worried about his brother. But Sam is going to Sam. Y'all just don't understand. Like, these boys, they go out here, they do what they need to do to hold down. So, Sam took care of business, as we knew he would. And now, it's just a matter of finding his brother and getting him back from being possessed by the Archangel Michael. Anyway, the next day, I don't even remember what day this was, to be honest with you. Um, but I got this idea from Pinterest and I've seen different ones where they've done, people have done different words or phrases where they pick a word or like a couple words, um, and just journal the same thing over and over and over again with uh, different color ink. And I just thought the effect was so cool. And if you journal like the same thing or even think the same thing over and over and over again it eventually be kind of becomes part of your subconscious and you be actually begin playing that out in your life so y'all know i'm all about my dreams so i just journaled dream 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 over and over again and i really like the way it turned out it's really pretty so um lastly well not lastly but october 27th my um best friend's little girl turned two and she had a unicorn party she's obsessed with unicorns so that's what i based this on and she's really cute and everything but i promise you guys she was not into that party she was just like okay whatever um she like she is she's she was just like in her own little world you know what i'm saying like she's like okay what all these people what is going on you want me to play games? What, what, like, what's, what, what's going on? She's just in her own little world, playing with her little friends, and really not paying attention to anything that was <laughs> that was going on. It was so funny, but yeah. So I just journaled about that, and I went, like I said, I went, and everything. It had been a while since I've seen her daughter, and she actually has a son now too. So yeah. Anyway. Lastly, um, I, of course, on the 28th, went to early vote. And it is so important, guys. Get out there and vote, please. Like, just vote, okay? And so that's what I draw about voting. Oh, and the cool thing is, I was just thinking, like the day before, I was just thinking about when I had to go to dialysis, there was this guy named Mr. David. He was a nurse, and he took great care of me. He, he was like, he reminds me of that guy, uh, Raymond Reddington from The Blacklist, where they always have, like, this crazy story to tell, and there's long-winded, and you're like, can you just please wrap this shit up? But 
He was so sweet. He took good care of me or whatever. So you just get used to it and everything like that. Anyway, he had he had been having tr some trouble lately. And I just thought, I was like, I wonder how Mr. David is doing. I need to send him a card or either call the clinic and see how he's doing. No sooner than I thought, I thought that the day before, I ran into him um, at um, the, the polling place that I go to vote. So I got to see him, talk to him, make sure he was okay and everything like that. So I thought that was really cool. And, and I got to do my civic duty at the same time. So bully for me. Anyway, I am done with this journal. I'm so excited. I think this is the first journal I have completed in a super long time. Like from start to finish. Like done. It's done. And I get to start in a new notebook for the month of November. So I'm really excited about that. I did finish up another journal that I started writing in a long time ago and i'll do a quick video about that both of these so yeah that is it for this video if you guys have any comments or questions leave it below and i will get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video i'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up perhaps subscribing and maybe sharing with your friends you guys take it easy and i will catch you in the next video talk to you later bye